What's your name again? I'm sorry. Jennifer. Jennifer. <laughs> and that's Mia? Mia, N-I-A. Hi, Mia. Squeaky. Oh, Lenny. 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 Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Mia. Hi, guys. Good afternoon. This is Tiffany with 100 Plus. I'm hoping that this is clear and you can see me. I was having a little bit of a hard time getting on, so I don't know if I don't have good service. I'm hoping it's good and that you can see this. Lenny. I am here with the wonderful Jennifer, who reached out wanting to foster Lenny. Lenny, that's not yours. <laughs> So I brought him up to Lake Worth this morning after breaking him out of LVS and taking him to IP and getting uh, his first round of vaccines and his microchip. We brought him down here or up here to this beautiful home in Lake Worth to Jennifer and her dog Mia. Jennifer works from home and she is even off this entire week from working from home. So... She has plenty of time to devote to little Lenny. Beautiful fenced in yard, but slatted. So he's gonna have to stay on leash in the yard. Mia has done really well with meeting Lenny in her home. And this will hopefully become a foster to adopt situation which would be wonderful because Jennifer is friends with Lauren who has his brother Squiggy. So if it were to turn into a foster to adopt situation, then Lenny and Squiggy could see each other all the time for play dates. And that just would be amazing. So I wanted to jump on and share this awesome news with you this afternoon and also to thank you all so much for donating to Lenny and Squiggy when we rescued them about four weeks ago um, with Parvo and donating towards their care. They still have outstanding bills at LVS um, for their care. I believe the last time I checked it was around four or $5,000 still left on their bills from treating them with Parvo. Hi, hi, hey Munchkin, hi. He is a happy, happy puppy as you can see. <laughs> we are going to keep him somewhat contained and controlled just until Mia gets really used to him because he is a baby. All he wants to do is like jump on Mia's face and bite her. So we want to make sure that she has the time to adjust to him. Right? Right. What do you think, Mia? You want a friend? Mia goes to the dog park, so she is dog friendly. When Jennifer has to go out of town for any reason, she goes to the dog sitter who has dogs. So she has been around dogs. She just has never had one in her home. So there's a little bit of an adjustment. Lenny. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Let me see your face. Let me see your face. Come here. Hold on. Come here. Let's get, let's get your face on the camera. Oh, we need over here where there's more light. Ah, <gasps> look at that sweet little face. Hi. Look at that sweet face. He's alive today because of all of you guys who donated towards his care when him and his brother Squiggy came in 
to our rescue organization and we found out that they were parvo positive. They stayed in the hospital for about a month. They have been completely cleared of the parvo. As I stated, his brother Squiggy was adopted into a loving forever home with Lauren, who happens to be friends with Jennifer, which is awesome because if Lenny stays here, then he can have play dates and see his brother, which would be amazing. So I just wanted to jump on real quick and share this awesome news with you all and say thank you once again for supporting us and our dogs and our mission. We truly could not do this without you guys. So I am going to sign off. This is Tiffany with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs, River Glades, Florida. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for offering to foster. Of course. And thank you, Mia, for allowing her in your home. <laughs> He's good stuff. Good stuff.